Hello, I'm Refashionista Sherry, and this is the weirdest sweater I have ever seen. <laughs> I got this at the thrift store the other day because it was, you know, like 99 cents and I knew I could do something with it, but I thought, you know what, let's put it on and see uh, just what it fits like. And um, let's begin the tour of weirdness here with the fact that for some reason it literally has two two turtlenecks like two completely separate turtlenecks um it also is quite short oh, i don't know there we go <laughs> you can kind of see i'll put a picture here <laughs> and um yeah so it could only be worn with my super cool though 80s high-waisted jeans and then we come to this part um this is like i don't know some kind of strange detail it you can see it doesn't go all the way around it's just like attached on the shoulder and the sides and has like a weird twist in it and um my kiddo actually said hey it's a boob warmer <laughs> which is pretty darn hilarious <laughs> but um yeah i think we are gonna take this all apart into its individual pieces and uh make a few different things out of it. What do you think? I, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> so let's get refashioning. Okay, so I have an idea, but I need to grab something out of my stash and I think I know exactly what I want to use. And uh, there it is. Yes, let's get it. For this crazy easy refashionista project, all you need is a turtleneck sweater that you don't mind chopping up, plus a scarf that wraps comfortably around your body. So I have flipped my sweater inside out and grabbed my scissors and truly, I d this literally has two distinct turtlenecks on it. It just is the weirdest and most uncomfortable thing. Anyway, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm only going to use one of the turtlenecks, but I'm going to chop them both off. And uh, yeah, so let's just, let's just do that. And as you can see, I'm going to cut it as close to the seam here as possible. And that's just because I don't know if this fabric is going to start fraying immediately or not. We shall see. All right, so I have the rest of the sweater here and I'm just going to set it aside because I'm going to use it for next week's tutorial. Plus, I have one, two turtlenecks and I think I'm going to use the darker one for this project. So I shall uh, put the gray one with the rest of the sweater. So I have literally had this scarf in my stash for years. I actually got it when I was still living in Germany. And uh, yeah, I never actually wore it as a scarf. I got it to make it into something. And that day has finally arrived after years. So I just want to show you how, bleh, bleh, how cool this actually is though. So we have a deer, how cool is that? And in this corner, a fox and birds and another bird and there's something oh right and the little bunny over here and i remember i got this because it's like covered with maple leaves right and i'm canadian and i got this in europe and i just thought that was so neat that it's so like canada centric with the animals and the maple leaves on it so i got it anyway there is the very hopefully not so boring story of this scarf <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but I really enjoy hearing the kind of history behind items. And again, that's why I love using items from the thrift store, because not only is it, you know, good for the environment and sustainable, but everything has a story behind it. Even if you have to make it up yourself, you know, there's always a story there. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> okay, so because I think I want to have my cute little foxy in the front, I'm going to fold it like as a triangle, kind of like so, yeah, so there we go. And then when I pop this on, this part here is going to, you know, hang down kind of over my arms and yeah, isn't that cute? That's cute. But I mean, because we're making a poncho, it's you know, you can kind of wear it however you want to wear it once it's done, but I think that's going to be the cutest. So we're going to fold this, as I said, 
into a triangular shape as evenly-ish as, as possible. And then we're gonna do, oh, there we go. Then we're gonna fold it again. And then we have this lovely corner here. And now let's go over to the table and create our uh, head hole. So I have my scarf folded twice. You can see here one fold and then the other. And hilariously, the eye of the deer here <laughs> is at the top of the kind of triangle. Um, yeah, so anyone who believes in conspiracy theories, come on down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's a terrible joke. Anyway, um, so now I am just going to, I'm just going to take my turtleneck and I'm going to fold it in half once and then try to use the edge here to kind of measure the width of the neck hole that I'm going to need to attach my turtleneck. And I think I'm going to go a little bit smaller than the width of the folded turtleneck here. And um, yeah, let's just chop that off. Okay, so I have opened this up and I'm just going to go from one side and try to kind of fold that around. That looks that looks perfect, but you know what? I gotta put it over my head to make sure I can get it on and off over my head. Alrighty, I can get it on over my head, and you can see here that when I pulled it on and off, it just started fraying, so let's get sewing quickly. Now, I have it laying with the right side facing down, and I have my turtleneck inside out and I'm going to put the turtleneck inside the hole like just super easy and line up the raw edges. Now the reason I have the wrong side of the turtleneck facing the right side of the fabric is so when I wear it I can fold the turtleneck down and I will then be showing the right side of the turtleneck if that makes any sense. Um, I will show you one once it's all done, so so hopefully it'll make more sense to you. But for now, just trust you need to have the wrong side of the turtleneck facing the right side of the scarf. Okay, now just go um, stitch it all together. That's it. It's so, so simple. Okay, it is all stitched on. Now let's do the moment of truth here. So you can see this is the right side of the scarf, and we have the wrong side of the turtleneck and when I fold it down, la la, everything is as it should be. Hooray! I also went ahead and did a tight wide zigzag over the outside seam here just for extra strength and to help prevent fair for bleh, <laughs> fraying <laughs> because this scarf was really fraying. <laughs> okay, now let's go put it on and style it up. Yet another triumph for refashioning. And I mean, again, how crazy easy is that? Just chop a hole in the middle of a scarf and add a turtleneck to it and you have a very, very cool poncho. I think these would actually be really good if you work in a chilly office or a shop or somewhere that's chilly, basically, because you can just kind of have this on the back of your chair, whatever, pop it over when you get chilly and um, you're styling. Plus it goes over so many different things. I mean, and it's, it's pretty swingy and cool too. <laughs> Do let me know down below if you are gonna make one of these for yourself. And of course, join my Gone Thrifting group over on Facebook, link is down below. And, um, you know, share share it there. It's a private group. So, you know, we're, we're all pretty cool over there. And uh, <laughs> we love seeing each other's makes and giving advice and all of that good stuff. So click that link, join my group. And um, yeah, stay tuned next week and see see what uh, what I'm gonna make with the rest of rest of this. And if you have any ideas, something specific you want me to try with this, let, let me know down below because I literally clearly have not done the video yet. So I can actually take requests and make whatever the heck you want. Right now, I'm kind of thinking maybe to add another sweater to the mix and make kind of like a patchwork sweater dress 
situation? I don't know. You let me know. Let me know what you think I should do with it. And um, if you want even more really kind of cool outerwear refashion tutorials, grab my Upcycled Jackets and Coats ebook. Link will be down below for that too. Pop on over to my Refashioning 101 e-course. That is always there. And you know what? It's uh, a really good, uh, really good course to teach you how to do everything from start to finish. Plus, then sell your makes and your pre-loved items online and, you know, make make some money in the process of your good <laughs> your crafty new hobby. <laughs> anyway, clearly my mouth is starting to not work anymore, so it's time for me to go. And uh, until next time, <laughs> stay safe, stay well, and I'll catch ya on the zigzag. <laughs> this is Confessions of a Refashionista.